So you're about ready to get your home up for sale. It's time to take the photos. So how do you prepare? What are we looking for? What are the essential parts? Stick around. Here we go. Now getting the house ready for photos can be very stressful, especially when you think you know what needs to be done, but you're not sure. You think this is more important than that is. How do you set things up? Where do you move things to? This is what I'm going to teach you today. <laughs> Whether you're selling through a realtor or maybe you're for sale by owner, this is very important on what to do when you're taking your photos. Let's start with the interior. The first place is the kitchen. You got to make sure it is all wiped down, everything put away, almost everything. You do need a few things out that are clean, that are colorful, but you got to get everything off, put everything away. You don't want the toaster and the waffle maker and the coffee maker. You got to get all the dishes out. It's got to be clean and spotless before you take pictures in the kitchen. Number two is the bathroom. Again, everything needs to be wiped down. The sinks, the toilets, the back of the toilets, the floor, inside the tub, uh, if you need to get a new shower curtain, get a new shower curtain. Make sure the mirrors are wiped down, the walls even, the door, both sides of the door. What you want to leave out is just like soap, some towels that match, uh, some lotions maybe on the back to make it look pleasing. And if you don't have towels that match, just go to the dollar store. You can pick up some cheap ones there that you can hang during the, sh during the photos and sometimes even during the showings if you've got time to put them out. Number three, check all the light bulbs. Make sure each light bulbs in the fixtures are the same color, the same temperature. In the room, you kind of want to do the same thing as well. You really don't want dark spots throughout the home. If you do have a room that's kind of dark, it may be worthwhile to run down, get a cheap standing lamp to put it in the corner, just so you can take photos and light that corner of the room up. Number four, when you go to take the pictures, make sure you have turned on all the light bulbs. Now that you've got them all working, uh, they're all the same colors and temperatures, turn them on. You want to have as much brightness in each one of the rooms that you can. Number five, you want to open up all the blinds, all the curtains in all the rooms. That way you're showing a very bright room. It's more pleasing to look at. Now, if you happen to have sun coming through one of the rooms, if you've got blinds, you can close them just a little bit. Of course, if you're having a professional photographer and he knows how to balance out the lighting and knows which way to put the camera as compared to the light coming through the room. Number six is remove excess furniture and excess decors on the wall. Less is more. You want to be able to come in, people that are going to buy your home, and see how open and spacious it is. And the first place they're going to see that is in the photos. So you want to project that in the photos. So you don't want the walls covered with photos and you don't want so much furniture in the room that you can't move around you may want to hire a stager to come in to give you some advice on this. Number seven is to remove all the floor runners uh, and the mats in front of the doors and going into some of the rooms. The more you have laying on the floor, the smaller it's going to make the room look. I know it protects your carpets, but you're taking photos and it's only going to last a little bit here. So you want to make it look spacious on the floor as well. Number eight, Shut off all computer screens, any kind of monitoring system, the TV, and the ceiling fans. They're a big distraction in photos. If you've got a photographer that's taken the HDR photos, which is like three photos at, at each shot, which they can bring out the, the coloring and the lighting, it looks really weird when you've got stuff moving in the background. So make sure all those are shut off before you take photos. Number nine. Since we've already been in the kitchen once, let's swing back by again. <laughs> again, make sure all the stuff's off the countertops, but also look at your refrigerator. I know a lot of people love putting magnets and photos of places they've been, people they know, uh, maybe the calendar for the week. But please remember, you're taking photos. It's not going to last forever. Get 
everything off the refrigerator and the sides of the refrigerator and the top of the refrigerator. Step back and take one more look. Wipe down. Wipe down the surface of the refrigerator on all three sides. You want it to look clean and bright. Number 10, make the beds. <laughs> make sure that they're completely made. Also, you want the covers of the bed to actually fit that bed. You don't want them laying a foot on the ground and you don't want them a foot too short. If you need to, go buy a cheap bedspread that will cover the bed, but also matches the pillows and the decor that you have on the bed. If you've got to go down to the dollar store again and buy some cheaper stuff, make sure they match. Uh, make sure they also match what's in the room too. Don't go bright yellow when everything else is black. Of course, unless you're into that. But we got to think of everybody else that's going to look at your home to purchase your home. Number 11, remove all photographs. <laughs> when people come into your home, they want to visualize themselves living there. And you don't want them distracted. So take down all the personal stuff. A generic photo here and there will be good, but you need to take down all the stuff uh, that's hanging. There's going to be too much. And not just in each one of the rooms, you have to think of the porch and the patio as well. Number 12, your jackets and your shoes. I know a lot of families, right when you step through the front door in the entry, there'll be hooks for their jackets and they want all the shoes lined up so they can take them off right away and not traipse dirt through the home. You don't want any of that there. Take all that out. You can leave the hook units that are up there, but get rid of the jackets, get rid of the shoes, make sure you clean and mop the area. Number 13, the bedroom again. Since you've got the bed made, look around. We got to get rid of everything off the nightstands, off the dressers, again, off the walls. We want it to be open and spacious. Don't jam everything underneath the bed. <laughs> unless it's hidden uh, that doesn't look that very well during the photos nor during people seeing your home when they see all your stuff jammed under the bed number 14 we're all pet lovers but get it out of the house <laughs> during the photos and during when people are coming to look at your home they don't want to see cat litter boxes. They don't want to see food laying all over the floor. Uh, if you crate your animals during the day while you're gone, they don't want to see the crates. All that stuff has to be removed. And if there's odor in the home, you may not realize it. Ask somebody else. Odors do not transfer through the photo, but it's something that when buyers come in, they're going to smell. So you could ask a photographer while he's there, give you a helpful hand. If your home smells or not, make sure you get rid of the smells. So make sure you get rid of the pet stuff. All right. What about the exterior? Number 15, go out front. Your front yard needs to look immaculate. Trim it, mow it, rake it, trim the bushes. Make sure the front of the house is looking good. This is what's called curb appeal, and people are going to see this as they walk up to your home. So the photos need to show that as well. They want to look at a pleasing home when they're looking at photos online. Number 16, get out that broom and sweep the porch, the sidewalk, the driveway, even the sidewalk out front by the curb, your patio. You want it clean. One, because it looks good. Two, because you don't want it tracking in the house. If it's springtime or it's not too hot outside, you can always go down and get flowers, stick them in tiny pots and decorate the line of the sidewalk coming up to the home. Keep it swept and clean. Number 17, move the cars. Get them out of the driveway. Get them out in front of the house. You need to take photos of the house not the house over top of the car. Get them out of the way. Especially if they're going to be doing drone shots because drone shots, having too many cars out front and in the driveway, they may not know it's a house. <laughs> There's too many cars. So get them out of there before you take the photos. Number 18, hide all the garbage cans and lawn equipment. 
This doesn't mean hide them in the backyard behind the fence because you don't want to see them there either. Talk to your neighbor, see if you can just roll all that stuff onto their driveway out of sight, out of mind. Garbage cans, lawnmowers, rakes, shovels. Also do a quick run through in case the pets are at home and you've got them locked in while you're taking photos of the outside. Make sure you pick up all their toys outside. Number 19. Get rid of the smoker out in the patio. Get rid of the barbecue. Don't just cover them up. Uh, there may be grease spots and stuff on them. Uh, they could be rusted out. It's better just to remove them out of the backyard while the photos are being taken. Number 20. Outside on the patio, if you've got umbrellas, open them up. It looks better with open umbrellas out on the patio. Now, if you have furniture out there as well, make sure it's cleaned wipe down if you have pillows or cushions on some of your furniture make sure it's clean make sure there's no spots or anything if you need to again run down get some new pads and stuff to put on your chairs outside remember it's a little bit expense but you're selling your home for lots of money so make it look good out there here's a few extra things for you to think about now, I know you've gone through all this work of getting everything ready, prepared for the photographer. Sometimes things happen. The photographer might have to reschedule the next day or for that afternoon. You got to have to do it. You need to get the home sold. But since you've got everything already done, it should be a lot easier to set it up for the next day. Also, prepare to leave for a few. As with a photographer there, your real estate agent there, uh, you don't want a lot of people always having to say move please move please move please plus mirrors do reflect people so you may step out of the room while the photographer's taking a photo and you're still in the mirror in the photo so if you may just need to walk outside and hang out for a while while he's taking photos you may have to leave it all depends on the size of your home and conditions that are going on so please take a deep breath and work with the photographer it'll be great when the photos are done all right, look at all that you've got now. Aren't you just really to sell your home, get it all straightened up and cleaned out, ready for some photos? Well, I hope you're in the mood to do it. It'll benefit you along the way. Now, since you stayed to the end, right down below, I got a few links for you. You can download some stuff for free. I got another video coming up here for you to look at. And as always, remember, this is Mike Bustamani with Keller Williams. It's been a pleasure. See you next time.